Hi, it's Les from Comfortable Shoes Studio, and this is another review on the Mungyo Watercolor Crayon 12 Color Set. All right, so this set was just under $12 for 12 colors. Uh, they do offer a 24 color set and a 36 color set. 36 color set is under 25 bucks, and the 24 color set is like 17 or something. Uh, the 12 color set is the worst value of the lot. I should have looked at the value proposition and probably gone for the 36 color set. Um, so I am swatching them out here just to see um, about how pigmented they are, what the color load is uh, in terms of like water activation and all of the rewetting. What's it like to like wet them on the page? Um, regrettably, I did do a whole bunch of portraits with these, but I accidentally deleted the footage because I didn't check to make sure that they had transferred. Um, yeah, that's not my smartest move. Um, so, and here I forgot to turn on the camera while I was swatching these out. Um, brilliant. <laughs> um, but so what I noticed is that they re-wet pretty easily. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water to get them moving, but I do notice that they don't have nearly an amount of pigmentation as the Caran d'Ache uh, version. Um, they re-wet pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, however, the Caran d'Ache, if we're holding those up as the comparative uh, they're very creamy, very smooth. Um, they, it's very easy to get a thick layer of pigment on the page. These are a lot harder. Um, they feel rougher on the page. This paper that I'm using is pretty rough. Um, it's great for crayons and colored pencils. You, know, you can really get a lot onto the page uh, and it will hold a lot of pigment. Um, and it it was a little more difficult to get a decent pigment load onto the page with these than uh, with Caran d'Ache or other water soluble crayons. Uh, I've tried a bunch of other brands. I believe I've got the Faber Castell downstairs in my studio space. Um, but uh, these I think are better than the Faber Castell version. Um, and they're softer than a watercolor pencil, but they feel um, a lot like the pigment in a watercolor pe uh, pencil. They're a little harder, um, a little firmer, almost chalky in texture uh, compared to like a Caran d'Ache or oil pastel, a water soluble uh, oil pastel, or like a gelato or something like that. They are much firmer. Um, you're not going to get a huge amount of pigment on the page. However, in use, when I was making my portraits with them, I was really happy with using them. Um, I was able to get a fair amount of pigment on the page. Um, I was able to really manipulate the color and get some nice color blends. Um, you know, I was able to layer quite a bit of pigment on the page. I'm not sure. Um, I noticed when these arrived, they had a lot of waxing on them and or whiting, depending on what you want to call it, is where the um, the crayon itself gets really warm and then the wax rises to the surface. So the whole surface of the crayons was very, very white. Um, and I don't know if that really impacted how much uh, pigment I was getting onto the page during these swatching sessions, because really during this swatching session, I'm just barely wearing down the outer edge of the stick. So later in, in use, I actually found myself quite a bit happier with these uh, watercolor crayons than I, I was in the swatching. So, um, you know, I think the use of them really matters more than swatching. So um, I, these are something I'm definitely going to be reaching for again and again and again. Um, because they are inexpensive and I'm not going to mind so much when I blow through them. Um, you know, I used a fair amount of them doing seven portraits, which I'm going to show you a short video of, but, um, I was pretty happy with these in terms of, of the value proposition compared to like a Caran d'Ache. Um, you know, they're, they are, 
um, quite a bit cheaper at only le- at under twelve dollars for this tin of twelve. Um, you know, it's a good color range as well for portraits. It's a good color range for urban sketching. Um, you're not going to get super realism, um, but I-, I like them. Um, all right, so here's some portraits that I did. So I did pen and ink drawings. Um, with either a Fude nib or my Ackerman comic G nib um, in a fountain pen. And uh, so I did that, dried it with a hairdryer, and then used the crayons to layer on color. And you can see I got some pretty intense coloration with these crayons. um, And I'm very happy with how they look on the page. Just really intense color, lots of pigment. Um, I did layer them pretty thickly. Uh, I did a whole lot of splattering on the page with them, which these did a really great job for splattering with a flippy brush um, and great color mixing. Um, So anyway, that's my review of these. They're definitely worth it. Um, Thanks for being here and uh, hit that subscription and thumbs up. Thanks and bye.